Hello everyone, because you're all busy watching a vapid millennial e-bagging blogger bawling because a hotelier quite rightly told them to go fuck themselves, I've created One Minute DCS. This time we're covering auto-rotation. Imagine this scenario. You're returning back to base because your co-pilot has become unresponsive as a result of you refusing to suck Mr. Wrinkly again. Your protestations that last time you were drunk only worsens his mood. In a petulant rage, he throws the fuel switch. The first thing you must do is press the trim reset button to give the cyclic its full range. Pull back on the cyclic while gently lowering the collective. The engine RPM or the big hand in the RPM gauge will fall away as the chopper nose is down. By lowering the collective while pulling back on the cyclic, you should increase your rotor RPM to normal operating speed. Keep your RPM between 30 and 35 on the inner scale or in the green. If the chopper nose is down too much or the rotor RPM gets so high the rotor is in danger of going its own way, you may have to pull the collective up a tiny bit, but just a tiny bit. If you see the RPM dropping, reduce your collective a little more and pull back on your stick a little. Keep your speed between 60 and 90. A little faster is okay, slower is lethal. At 200, begin to level off. At around 50, perform a gentle flare and smoothly raise your collective to cushion your landing. Keep in mind it's not a good idea to attempt auto rotation below 1500 feet. It's also worth noting that if ever given the choice in real life between playing the hairy bagpipes and performing an auto rotation, you may want to consider the former carefully. On that note, I thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.